Have you ever wondered how your mind and emotions can influence the reality around you? What if you could consciously attract exactly what you desire into your life? Magnetizing your desires involves activating the quantum field and is also deeply rooted in ancient but powerful principles such as the law of attraction and other universal laws. The idea that our thoughts, feelings, and actions have a direct impact on our physical experience is not only fascinating, but also transformative. The law of attraction in particular suggests that what you energetically emit comes back to you. In other words, the thoughts and feelings you project are mirrored back to you in the form of experiences, opportunities, and relationships. But the law of attraction is just one piece of this complex universal puzzle. The law of reciprocity and the law of reversibility also play crucial roles in how we create and shape our reality. Together, these laws offer us a powerful guide to understanding and applying the principles of manifestation. So today, I hope to provide you with a clear and practical understanding of how you can use your mind and body to manifest your desires. We'll explore how emotions and thoughts can be aligned to create a life full of purpose and fulfillment. Because when you understand and apply these concepts, you not only change how you see the world, but also how the world responds to you. To understand how to activate the quantum field and magnetize your desires, it is fundamental to first understand what the quantum field is. In simple terms, the quantum field is a field of infinite energy and infinite possibilities that permeates the entire universe. It is the basis of everything that exists, from the smallest subatomic particles to the most distant galaxies. This field is where all the possibilities of reality exist simultaneously, waiting to be chosen and manifested by a conscious observer. The quantum field is a concept that emerges from quantum physics, the science that studies phenomena at extremely small levels, such as subatomic particles. According to quantum physics, all particles are interconnected in a vast energy field where the conventional separations of time and space do not apply in the same way as in classical physics. In this field, particles can exist in multiple states at the same time, and their properties only become defined when observed. This universal energy field is the basis of co-creation, where all possible things already exist in potential. And when we talk about activating the quantum field, we are referring to the ability to access and influence these infinite possibilities to manifest the reality we desire. The relationship between the quantum field and physical reality can be understood through the concept of wave function collapse. In quantum physics, particles exist in a state of superposition where all their possible locations and states exist simultaneously. But when an observer makes a measurement, this superposition collapses into a single defined state. In other words, the physical reality we experience is a manifestation of one of the many possibilities contained in the quantum field, selected by the act of observation. This suggests that our physical reality is not fixed and immutable, but rather fluid and subject to change based on our perception and intention. When we understand and accept that we can influence the quantum field with our mind and emotions, we begin to realize the immense power we have to create and shape our reality. Consciousness is the key that unlocks the potential of the quantum field. Without consciousness, the quantum field remains in a state of unrealized potential. It's our ability to observe, think, and feel that activates quantum possibilities and transforms them into tangible reality. This process is often described as the act of collapsing the wave function, where our conscious attention selects one of the many quantum possibilities and brings it into physical existence. So, we can say that our consciousness not only passively observes reality, but also actively interacts with the quantum field. Thoughts carry electrical energy, while emotions carry magnetic energy.
Together, they create an electromagnetic field that influences and shapes the quantum field. When our thoughts and emotions are aligned with a specific desire, we are essentially sending an order to the quantum field to manifest that reality. For example, if you wish to attract more financial abundance into your life, starting to visualize this abundance, feeling the emotion of already having it, and maintaining consistent thoughts of prosperity, creates an electromagnetic field that resonates with the frequency of abundance. This, in turn, magnetizes opportunities and circumstances that bring this reality into your physical experience. Understanding the quantum field and the role of consciousness is just the beginning. To truly activate this field and magnetize your desires, you need to deepen your understanding of the laws that govern this interaction, such as the law of attraction. The law of attraction teaches us that we are like magnets, attracting everything that we consistently focus on, whether positive or negative. In other words, the thoughts, emotions, and attitudes we emit to the universe attract back to us experiences and circumstances that resonate with that same energy. If you maintain positive thoughts and emotions at the same level, you will attract more situations that induce those same feelings. On the other hand, if your thoughts are predominantly negative, such as worry and fear, you are likely to attract experiences that reinforce these negative emotions. This law suggests that everything we experience in our life is a direct reflection of our inner state. Our thoughts are like commands sent to the quantum field, and our emotions are the magnetic force that energizes those commands. Together, they create a specific vibration that attracts events and circumstances that vibrate at the same frequency. Every thought we have carries an energetic frequency. As I explained in the previous video, positive thoughts emit a high vibrational frequency, while negative thoughts emit a low vibrational frequency. The more we focus on a thought, the stronger it becomes. The continuous repetition of a thought creates a belief, which is a deeply rooted way of thinking. It's these beliefs that shape our perception and our daily experiences. Emotions energize our thoughts. Intense feelings like joy, passion, and enthusiasm amplify the energy of positive thoughts, making them more powerful in attracting desired experiences. On the other hand, negative feelings like sadness and frustration amplify negative thoughts. But for the law of attraction to work effectively, our emotions must be authentic. Simply thinking positive thoughts without really feeling the emotion corresponding to that thought won't have the same impact. The actions we take must be aligned with our thoughts and emotions. If we want to attract prosperity, our daily actions must reflect this desire, such as seeking opportunities, educating ourselves, and acting generously. Often, when we are in tune with the law of attraction, we experience an impulse to act in a certain way. These are inspired actions, which spring from a place of inner alignment and have significant magnetic power. To illustrate how the law of attraction can be applied in a practical way, let's consider some examples that demonstrate how thoughts, emotions, and actions work together to manifest desires. For example, a person who wants to attract abundance can start focusing on thoughts of abundance, repeating affirmations such as, I am prosperous and deserve wealth. This allows them to feel gratitude for the wealth they already have, even if it is little, and to imagine the joy of living a financially abundant life. This can lead the person to start managing their finances more carefully, seeking new sources of income, and investing in their financial education. As I've explained to you in other videos, this applies to all areas of our lives. For example, someone who wants to improve their relationships. This person can focus on thoughts of love and harmony, visualizing positive interactions with friends and family, as well as cultivating feelings of love and appreciation, visualizing happy times and projecting these feelings into their current relationships. 
This person can strive to be more present and attentive, communicating in an open and loving way, and resolving conflicts with empathy. As we deepen our understanding of the law of attraction, it's essential to explore another universal law that complements and enriches this understanding, the law of reciprocity. This universal law is an essential principle that governs the exchange of energies in the universe, establishing that whatever we emit returns to us proportionately. In other words, the energy we project through our thoughts, emotions, and actions is reflected back in our life experience. The law of reciprocity can be defined as the dynamic return of energy between the sender and the receiver. This law emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things and how our intentions, when sent out into the universe, return to us multiplied. It operates similarly to the law of attraction, but emphasizes the cyclical and mutually dependent nature of the energies we exchange with the world around us. The importance of the law of reciprocity lies in the reminder of our responsibility for the energy we emit. Every thought, feeling, and action we express creates an energetic wave that reverberates in the quantum field and eventually returns to us. So, by cultivating positive intentions and acting in accordance with these values, we create a cycle of beneficial energy that improves our own experience of life. A clear example of how the energy emitted returns to the sender can be observed in everyday interactions. Imagine a situation in which you treat someone with kindness and respect. This attitude generates a positive energy that not only affects the person directly, but also creates an environment of harmony and well-being. This positive energy, as it circulates, ends up returning to you in the form of kindness and respect from others, or even from the same person at another time. This cycle of reciprocity is evident in various areas of life, from personal relationships to work environments. Reciprocity teaches us that when we cultivate practices like meditation or prayer, where we send intentions of peace and love to the world, we create energy that not only benefits others, but also elevates our own state of being. This continuous practice makes us recipients of peace and love, reflecting the transformative power of reciprocity in our spiritual life. It's a universal law that teaches us that generosity, kindness, and positive intention are not just altruistic acts, but also investments in our own life journey. And it is in this same line of thinking that we encounter the fascinating law of reversibility. This fundamental principle reveals that all energy transformations are reversible, which means that we can influence and alter our reality by changing our inner emotional state. The law of reversibility can be defined as the ability to transform one form of energy into another and vice versa. It's a universal law based on the idea that all energies in the universe are interconnected and can be converted into one another. This concept is brilliantly illustrated in physics, where we see examples of reversible transformations, such as the conversion of thermal energy into mechanical energy, or the conversion of electrical energy into light energy. But the law of reversibility is not limited to the field of physics. It also applies to our emotional experiences and everyday life situations. A simple example of this can be found in our own patterns of thought and emotion. If we find ourselves in a state of sadness or negativity, we can consciously choose to transform that energy into a higher vibration, such as joy or gratitude. In the same way, we can apply the law of reversibility in practical everyday situations. Imagine a moment when you feel overwhelmed by stress or anxiety. By recognizing this emotional state and consciously choosing to change it, you can adopt practices such as meditation, physical exercise, or engaging in creative activities. These actions allow you to transform your internal energy, shifting from a state of tension to a state of calm and balance. 
The law of reversibility also reminds us of the power of visualization and creative imagination in transforming our lives. By vividly visualizing desired outcomes and emotionally connecting with these mental images, we are activating the reversal process, transforming our desires into tangible reality. This practice of imagining the desired future allows us to actively shape our reality, creating a bridge between the present and the potential future. As I mentioned before, emotions have a profound impact on how we interact with the quantum field and manifest our intentions. They are not just subjective reactions to external events, but also powerful tools for creating and shaping our reality. They are like the fuel that powers our thoughts and actions, giving life to our mental creations. There are several techniques we can use to maintain high emotional states and align our vibration with our desires. One of them is the practice of creative visualization, where we dedicate time every day to vividly imagining desired outcomes and connecting emotionally with these mental images. By allowing ourselves to deeply immerse in the imagined experience, we are sending powerful signs to the quantum field, indicating that we are ready to receive our manifestations. Another effective technique is the practice of positive affirmation. By repeating affirmations that affirm our beliefs and intentions, we are reprogramming our subconscious mind and strengthening our connection with the quantum field. But it's important to choose affirmations that truly resonate with us and avoid any negativity or doubt. When we do this, we are creating an internal environment conducive to the flourishing of our deepest desires. With that in mind, it's crucial to understand the importance of living the desired state in the present. Often, we may fall into the trap of waiting for the realization of our desires in the future, forgetting that true change begins now. We need to cultivate a mindset of abundance, gratitude, and fulfillment even before our manifestations become tangible. When we allow ourselves to experience the feelings and emotions associated with our desired state, we are sending powerful signs to the universe that we are ready to receive our blessings. To do this, it's essential to separate the old self from the new self. This involves letting go of thought patterns, limiting beliefs and behaviors that no longer serve us, and embracing a new identity aligned with our deepest desires. We can begin this process by developing greater awareness of our thoughts and emotional patterns, identifying which aspects of our current life are out of alignment with our ideal vision. Once we have identified these patterns, we can start applying powerful techniques to embody our new desired identity, such as the ones I mentioned before. The practice of meditation and mindfulness is also extremely powerful as it allows us to cultivate greater awareness of the present moment and release negative and self-limiting thought patterns. The journey towards self-awareness and conscious manifestation leads us to explore the concept of higher intelligence, also known as the universal or divine energy that permeates the universe. Higher intelligence can be understood as the primordial essence that gives life to all existence. It is the creative energy that gives rise to universes, stars, planets, and all forms of life. This intelligence is omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent, transcending the limits of time and space and beyond the comprehension of the human mind. It's the source of all wisdom, love and power in the universe, and it is available to all who seek to tune into it. To allow the energy of higher intelligence to flow through us, it is necessary to cultivate a state of receptivity and openness. This involves letting go of the resistances and limitations of the egoic mind and surrendering to the wisdom and guidance of the universe. We can achieve this state through the practice of meditation, inner silence, and surrender. When we quiet ourselves and connect with the present moment, we create space to receive inspirations that come from the divine source. 
but it is also important to cultivate qualities such as humility, gratitude, and unconditional love. These virtues help us align with divine energy and become clear channels for its expression. When we recognize the divine presence in all things and beings, we allow this energy to flow freely through us, nurturing and guiding us on our paths. There are several practices we can incorporate into our daily lives to strengthen our connection with higher intelligence. One of them is communicating with the divine through prayers, mantras, or affirmations. When we speak to God, or if you prefer the divine, with sincerity and devotion, we are strengthening our connection with Him and creating space for His guidance and protection in our lives. Connecting with higher intelligence is a process of openness and receptivity, of surrendering to the wisdom and guidance of the universe. This connection is an important key to manifesting our deepest desires and creating a life of meaning and fulfillment. As we come to the end of this journey, I'd like you to take a message with you. You are worthy of everything you want and deserving of an abundant and fulfilled life. Believe in the power of your own being and the infinite potential that exists within you because you are the creator of your own story and the universe is eagerly waiting to cooperate with your dreams and aspirations. So move forward with courage, determination, and faith. Be willing to face challenges, learn from experiences, and grow with every obstacle that comes your way. And remember that every moment is an opportunity to evolve, expand, and express your full potential. May your journey be filled with love, light, and abundance. Just believe and manifest. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.